So have you did exactly what I did? I'm, I say if you're watching this video, you have, you took an older PC, you turned it into maybe your catcher device, you know, for a dedicated streaming PC, so your main PC don't have to deal with that, or you were uh, using it for some other means, but you took a newer model case, and it has USB 3.0. And your motherboard supports USB 3.0, but does not have it on the motherboard itself. It's on the back of the I.O. So uh, what you need to get to make that work in this, that's basically what this is. It's Gigabyte uh, Motherboard Phenom 2 chip, and um, I put an AIO in it. It's some overclock, and it's stuff you see in the future videos I ain't uploaded yet. They might be on the channel. You can check if you want to and see what's uploaded but I do got a, a teardown video of this PC before it went into the case in the description below you can see what bad shape it was in tons of dust no fans working GPU wasn't even mounted it's it's worth watching but you need to pick up one of these it's five bucks that's shipped to your door and what it is it's USB 2.0 to USB 3.0 and it converts motherboards USB 2.0 into USB 3.0. So it's a little confusing because you are not going to get the 3.0 speeds and stuff. Basically, you turn turning that 3.0 port on the front of your panel or wherever it may be into a 2.0 USB. It will work. That's better than a dead USB port. You know, you got 2.0. It's not 3.0, but it works. And that can be handy. So now that you pretty well understand the basics that you ain't really getting a 3.0 port, that 3.0 speed, you're getting basically a 3.0 port turned into a 2.0 and it, it actually works now and you can hook it up. So let's just show you how to install it. Uh, as I said before, I picked this up for five bucks. You can get them off eBay, uh, Amazon, stuff like that. And uh, one more shot if you need to of the brand and stuff. And uh, it opens up comes in a sealed package just like so we good to keep bolts and stuff in uh, this is hit basically 2.0 header to your motherboard you can see 3.0 here I'm gonna get this PC tore down uh, not tore down actually uh, moved out and uh, show you how to hook it up so if you watched any of the videos before this is why I've been uh, basically testing this PC out I have actually put it through its paces it's been doing good uh, I had a 960 SSC in it it's actually running a 970 in it right now limited edition and uh, it's probably a little bit too much card for the Phenom 2 but I'm going to be uh, putting a super clock SSC probably back in this because I'm getting an actual Wiser cable and I'm going to show you guys how to install all that into the NZXT case. Figured it'd be a good video. But for now, I've been using the 970. The first thing you want to do is shut your PC down. And uh, I always recommend that anytime you're doing anything to your PC, I always make sure it's powered off. And if you listen close, guys, you can hear that hard drive, which we need to update to an SSD. Be another good video for you. You know, I do as many helpful how-to videos as I can. Once you get this pretty well turned off, unplug it from the wall. I peep some people won't, some people will, but it's grounded through your plug-in in the wall. Unplug it, give it a few seconds, and make sure you have an ankle brace or a ground to it. I always usually just touch something metal, make sure I ain't going to shock anything. <laughs> but I recommend always using anti-static stuff. So, one time screw holds this panel on. And the more times you take it off, the easier it gets. The back panel's held on with two thumb screws. Basically, the end you're looking for is kind of shaped just identical to this little piece that we just picked up. It'll be blue, that shows it's 3.0, and this piece will just plug into it, just like so. Make sure it's in there good, and now you are converted. Next step will be plugging it into your motherboard, which is on the front. You want to cable manage all this back the way I had it, which is just shove it in here. Back to the front of the PC, guys. It's pretty uh, business as usual. You find a USB 2.0 port. It should be 20 on your motherboard. At least should be two. 
and then you plug it in the way that the pins line up. Now this adapter does not have a, a glue, so you can plug it in the wrong way. So just remember that. Just make sure all your pins is counted first and all line up and then you can plug it in. And then once you get that, you can double check everything, check your cable management, put the computer back together and the USB port should work. I'm going to turn this on now. Once I plug it back in, it powered on just like normal. And if you did everything right, it was the USB 3.0 will be a USB 2.0 now and should work. So we let this boot up and then I will take this thumb drive and we set it in it and it should give us a tone or shoulder drive up. So let's go ahead and check it out. We'll go ahead and insert a little drive. Watch over here on the screen. That was a drive just showed up. It had nothing on it. That's a brand new drive actually. Uh, I think it's an 8 gigabyte drive maybe. I ain't 100% on that. Uh, but everything's working. You can remove it, it chimes and goes away. So we can plug this in, just like so. And it shows back up, guys. It's working the way it should. And you can double check all your connections, make sure everything is plugged in the way it needs to be. As you can see, you can get your front USB 3.0 working as a USB 2.0. Pretty simple. I'm going to throw this back together and uh, finish the video up. So pretty much everything is working the way it should on the PC. And uh, that's a neat little thing, especially when you're taking an older motherboard and you hang up 2.0 on the motherboard, you can adapt a 2.0 into a 3.0 and have 2.0 speeds. That's something that comes in handy, especially if you use your top ports of your computer instead of the back. Sometimes they're easier to get to depending on where you got it placed. Now I'm going to test this PC out some more. Do some more videos on it if it's something you enjoyed seeing this older PC hardware being put to use and uh, seeing what you can do with it. Let me know in the comment section. Be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, it goes a long way. And you can show your support for my channel by smashing that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.